got Adam Sturgill here at the pits, or in the pits at Texas Motor Speedway. How'd your first night here at the Battle of Big Top go? We were a little slow. We got faster as the night went on. I made some couple driving changes. Uh, the crew really helped out. We got faster, started fourth. Um, we got caught up in third, trying to make passes, and got shoved around a little bit, but we made our way. What's this place compared to as far as places you've driven before? Is there any comparison? It's like Whittemore and uh, up in Michigan. It's very small, high bank, you know, very fast, but uh, a lot of braking. Is that a type of track you like? I do like it. It's uh, not a lot of room for passing. So if you do mess up, you can uh, cut down and you won't get passed on a lot. You also run the risk of getting dumped though if you cut down with somebody, don't you? You do, but that's just all part of a uh, legend racing and you gotta return the favor sometime. Well, that's probably true, I guess. Mistaking your car on the track is next to impossible. Why the big bright green color? You know, I always like to stand out. Green was always an option and it's one of my last year's race in the legend, so we thought we'd go out for something uh, pretty radical. It's bad luck you realize that, right? Uh, luck is just a preference, you know. We can always just go around it. Or you're going to try to. I'm going to try to, yeah. What would be a good week for you with these four final nights coming up? Definitely uh, top twos, definitely wins, but hopefully a lot more wins than, uh, you know, top threes. Who do you think you have to beat to do that? Uh, definitely uh, Cody Hall over here, the 08. You know, he's a lot really fast, and just uh, good qualifying times would definitely uh, contribute to that. Well, we're glad to see you make the trip down from Ohio. Good luck to you this week. Thank you.